guys welcome back to my channel um how are you liking this background i kind of just kind of re-angled it a bit using my same bedroom that i always use <laughs> um i'm just trying something new because i was getting bored of just my one wall but um today we're going to be doing best of beauty 2014 for category hair um what I, if you guys don't know, or if you haven't seen my last, um, my first video, the um, Best of Beauty Nails video just tells you that I'm breaking down the categories in different videos just so that there's a shorter amount of time. So I'm just going to jump in. This is going to be what I've been using through the year of 2014 for hair products and what has been working for me throughout that year with hair products. Um, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And I'm going to jump right in because I have a ton of stuff. So first off, I'm going to start off with hair tools. The first... Um, tool I'm going to show you is my Prolis. This is the Trio Clipless Curler Set. So it's basically a wand. Um, I don't know if you guys can see here. It comes with the actual wand and then the uh, detachable sized curling pieces. It comes with a mitt uh, and you're good to go. I love this for special occasions, for weddings. The weddings that I had this year, I used this puppy on my extensions. I used it on my natural hair. It kept the curls so nicely. I was so impressed and this has been my go-to curler for um, 2014. Um, I don't know how hot it gets. I think it gets uh, 4 to 450 Fahrenheit. I don't know where it says. I don't think it, uh, I think it says on the inside, but um, it does get very hot, this one, and it has um, a level, temperature level of three settings. So I do love this for special occasions, curling my hair, that kind of stuff. Um, I actually picked this up, believe it or not, on Hot Look for 60 bucks, and normally they the set goes for over $250, so definitely a good deal, and I did pick it up at the right time. Last, uh, no, second last tool I'm going to show you is my Numi Megastar Flat Iron. I also purchased this in um 20 did i purchase in 2014 no i purchased it in 2013 actually um and i have been using it through um the entire year of 2014 it is a amazing amazing flat iron it has um i don't know if you guys can see there's a strip there and that strip has infrared lights and the infrared lights are supposed to deposit hydration back into the shaft of your hair when you are flat ironing your hair so um, it's supposed to be good for your hair instead of damaging it um, it does have the setting, um, the setting, like the on off button and the settings over on the side here in the actual uh, flat iron. So it's nice that when you're flat ironing your hair, you're not, your hand is not accidentally bumping into the buttons and turning it down accidentally. So I do like that. Um, and it's very sleek. It does get very hot on the outside. So you can also use it to curl or do like really loose waves. Um, and then the temperature gauge uh, appears here digitally, which is amazing as well. Very high tech. Um, I picked this up for, I think it was like 80, just, oh, just under $80, um, because they have coupon codes all over the place on YouTube. If you guys are looking for a new me coupon code, definitely, um, check out, um, YouTube videos, uh, with bigger vloggers and bloggers. They definitely have coupon codes. I asked new me for a coupon code and unfortunately they did not give me one. So I'm sorry guys. I, I tried, what can I say? Um, but you can pick this up on the new me website and, um, you can definitely, um, check out other vloggers for coupon codes that you can use. Cause that's what I did. I just used one of their coupon codes to get a little bit of a discount. Um, and, uh, ever since I have not been able to put this flat iron down, it's been like my go-to flat iron for the year. Um, next up, I'm going to talk about shampoo and conditioner now. Um, <sighs> I don't really have a favorite shampoo and conditioner only because, I mean, I've gone through so many deep conditioners and so many, um, like, shampoo and conditioners that I don't really stick to one brand. Um, deep conditioners, I really haven't really used just one particular deep conditioner throughout the year. I've, I've juggled through so many, so I don't really have a, a favorite favorite per se. Um, your best bet is for hair, if you want to do deep conditioner, you don't want to spend a lot of money, coconut oil. Coconut oil is my number one. I actually ran out of coconut oil, so I don't have it here to show you. But if you do um, get coconut oil, pick up the cold-pressed extra virgin um, coconut oil because that is the least processed type of coconut oil. It has all the nutrients that you need in for to infuse in your hair for hydration. Um, you can get that at the grocery store or the health food store. That is very inexpensive for a deep uh, conditioning mask um for regular conditioner i 
don't really have, I never used to have a favorite. And I came across one recently, I would say since November, October, November, whenever I, I dyed my hair red again. Um, and that is the um, Zotto's uh, Riveting Reds Conditioner from Sally Beauty Supply. I actually have the matching shampoo to this. Now, um, if you guys have ever tried this before, it is actually red. The product is actually red, so it deposits red back into your hair, which is um, amazing because you don't have to dye your hair over and over again in shorter periods of time. You can kind of extend that before you re-dye your hair again. I try to wait five to six weeks before I dye my hair fresh. Um, so this does, the conditioner does help because it does deposit red back into my hair and it does hydrate. So whenever I come out of the shower, as long as the conditioner, um, you rinse your conditioner well, when you come out of the shower, if you can run your comb through it without getting knotted and tangled, then that means you have a good conditioner. This one does that. So I'm actually quite impressed with this one because it does um, keep my hair smooth when I get out of the shower. There's not a lot of tangling going on because it does hydrate and detangle very nicely. So, um, and it's very inexpensive, guys. I got this on sale. Uh, buy one, get one free at Sally's when they had their sale for this brand. And I picked up the shampoo and conditioner, and this was the uh, one liter size. They have the smaller sizes in case you don't want to uh, commit to a larger size, but I picked up the larger ones just because they were on sale. And, uh, and they do last longer. Like, I've had this now, I've been using this since I dyed my hair red. And I think I'm about down to here, if I can see correctly. Um, yeah, so I'm about down to here, and I've been using this every time I wash my hair. So um, I have been loving this, and it has been a favorite this year because I have been impressed with the amount of color it redeposits into my hair when I shower. Um, you have to be careful, though. Um, it may stain your hands depending on the type of skin you have. It might stain your hands. For me, it doesn't. For some people, I know it does. So just letting you guys know. Um, shampoo, I like a clarifying shampoo from time to time, and I have been loving my Garni Fructis Passion Splash for normal to dry hair. Usually I use this in the winter time. Um, it's hydrated weightless uh, a hair shampoo. It's got coconut oil. What else does it have? And a few, a few other oils that are um, really good for your hair. Uh, grapeseed oil, that kind of stuff. So um, it's very lightweight, and what I like about it is because it is clarifying. Um, usually clarifying shampoos are not creamy or cloudy. So when you have a, a shampoo that you can see right through, that means it's clarifying, and that means it's going to it's going to clear all the gunk out of your hair, off your scalp, um, and that is basically the gunk. What I'm talking about is buildup of um, hairspray, hair product, hair oils, that kind of stuff. Um, this will definitely just take that completely off of the shaft of your hair, your scalp. When you blow dry your hair, you feel so much more um, lighter. This definitely, for a drugstore product, is definitely one of my favorite shampoos for clarifying. Amazing. And it's affordable. Why not? Um, when it comes to heat protectant and uh, root boosting, so I have two heat protectants that I have been loving this year, and I do use them both together. Um, first heat protectant is, it's a 10. Um, this is the Miracle Leave-In product. I have used this now for over a year. Um, I tried the keratin one first. It was amazing. I went to the original one. I'm As you can see, I'm down to here now with this little bottle. Um, it does 10 amazing things for your hair. I just absolutely love this stuff. I will always be repurchasing this. It is a little bit on the pricier side, but I've already, I already have a backup of this for 2015, so I'm hoping I won't have to purchase it again until closer to the end of the year because I got a bigger bottle this time. Yay! Um, but it is great. It does um, detangle very nicely. If you have, if you ladies or men have kids who have long hair, they, it tangles, they scream, try this on their hair. It does wonders. I know it's expensive, but the whole family could use it if you do have longer hair. So one of my favorites. You can pick this up at Target or Walmart has these um, in the salons. There's salons in the uh, Walmart superstores and they carry this as well. Um, when it comes to um, heat protectant spray um, for that's not cream based. This is more liquidy based. Um, this is the Tresemme Heat Thermal Creations uh, Heat Protectant and I have been loving this too. I think I'm about down to here. I pretty This bottle lasts me all year long. I purchased this in 2013. I think it was like end of 2013 and this uh, lasted me all year long. I used it every time I washed my hair, every time I blow dried it, and every time I flat ironed it or curled it. So, and I use heat to my hair pretty much every single time I get out of the shower. I'm always using this as another heat protectant because, um, when you, when I use this in my hair wet, I blow dry my hair, everything looks great. Once it's blow dried, I use this before I flat iron my hair or before I curl it. So I use this usually on dry hair, um, just to give it that extra protection because, um, 
I just do and it works well for me I notice that my hair lasts longer I don't get split ends as quickly as I used to so definitely drugstore option amazing love it uh, drugstore option for a root boot booster this has been the one that I've gone to I think I finished one previous to this and I don't remember what it was I, I couldn't tell you to be totally honest anyways I ended up going to this one this is the John Frieda luxurious volume um, blow dry root booster and um, I love it. I really do love it. I love how you, you spray this on wet, damp hair into the roots and the crown of your hair here. And um, when you blow dry your hair upside down, this gives you an amazing lift here to give you a little bit of height and body. So this does um, reach into my top four hair products of the year. I do enjoy it. And I think I'm about down to here. I repurchased this early 2014 and it's I've used this every time I blow dry my hair which is pretty much every time I shower um so I think I've, I've gotten like halfway down and it's lasting me for a year and you know I'm already halfway done so let's see how long the rest of the bottle will last me if I have to repurchase it I will because it is great and it's a drugstore it's affordable um one more thermal um care I want to show you guys this is a little sample size and this has lasted me for two years believe it or not um, this is the Bio Silk Silk Therapy. This is another thermal like serum, I guess you can say. Um, I got this at a hair show two years ago. I've been using it since I got it. And I mean, this little guy has lasted me for two years and I'm already down to here. I'm still not even finished it. You need the tiniest amount. Um, what I do is I use this in conjunction with my, um, my heat protectants. Um, I put this normally on the ends of my hair just to seal any split ends that I could possibly have. Um, I really do enjoy it. I really would consider uh, repurchasing this in full size once I do run out because it makes your hair so silky smooth. It keeps your hair from being staticky, from being frizzy. If you guys are having problem with serious frizz, I would definitely um, check out the Bio Silk Silk Therapy Serum because this stuff really does help with the flyaways, with the frizz, all that kind of stuff. Um, now for those of you who are in more warmer climates or if you live in Canada in the summertime, I like to do more of a beachy wave um, if I'm lazy and I don't want to blow dry or I'm trying to stay away from heat uh, tools. Um, what I do is out of the shower, I towel dry my hair and then I will go in with a beach spray. And my favorite beach spray is the Lush Sea Spray. Um, this one is very fresh. Yeah, this one smells very fresh. I love how this one smells. It really literally smells like you were at like an ocean beach. I love this stuff. I think it's like $12 a bottle. I think I'm like down to here and um, it's not that expensive I mean you do only get a hundred milliliters but the thing is though is if you're not using it every day you're not going to finish it as quickly if you are using it every day then you may finish it more quicker but I will have to tell you this has been my favorite beach spray to date and I do like lush products and it does give you that lush beachy smell so I do really enjoy it and for $12 I mean you're ranging the drugstore prices anyways for the spray so I mean it doesn't really bother me and uh, I will definitely be picking up a repurchase once I run out of this. Um, for uh, hairspray, now I don't really use a lot of hairspray throughout the year. In my day-to-day, -day, um, I don't use a lot of hairspray. I try to stay away from hairspray, to be totally honest. Um, what I like to use is Sebastian's uh, hairspray. This you can get it at the drugstore. Um, it is quite expensive. I think it's like $20, but you get 10.6 ounces. And this stuff lasts me forever because I don't use hairspray often. I only use hairspray if I'm doing uh, beachy waves uh, that I want them to stay or if I'm doing nice curls for a special occasion. Other than that, I don't use hairspray. So um, this guy I purchased back in 2013 and it's now going, I'm going into 2015 and this guy is still like, pretty full I would say though out to here um, but I do love this because it doesn't keep your hair crunchy um, dry shampoo so I've tried quite a few dry shampoos this year I've tried the Tresemme the Dove um, I don't know if there was another one Oh, I even tried the Lush one as well. I wasn't crazy about the Lush one. Um, the Tresemme is a good option if you can't get a hold of Batiste. But I think I've officially joined the Batiste bandwagon. Um, I love their dry shampoo. I think it is my number one dry shampoo choice. I don't think I ever want to go to anything else because this does wonders. It doesn't leave too much of a white cast. This one's in the tropical coconut scent, which I really, really love. Um... There is a Batiste for brunettes, and I have not tried that one yet. But this one that I have tried... It doesn't give you that big of a white cast. It smells amazing and it does the job, which is what I like in a dry shampoo to soak up all those oils. So this has been my shampoo, dry shampoo of the year and I will forever repurchase this as long as I can find it. Um, I know that not a lot of Canadian stores uh, 
you know, offer this. So I have to keep my eye out whenever I am uh, window shopping. Um, okay, last two things, guys. So my favorite brush of the year is my wet brush. I think ever since I've, I purchased the wet brush, it has been, it has saved my hair so much. Like ever since I've purchased the wet brush, and the wet brush is basically thinner bristles that um, will be, are able to comb through your hair without breaking or damaging the shafts of your hair. Purchased this at Sally's for under seven dollars. It's the best investment I've ever got. I've ever gotten in my life. Um, I've noticed a significant decrease of flyaways or breakage in my hair when I use my wet brush uh, when I get out of the shower and I comb it out um, wet. So if you guys are having problems with flyaways, breakage, um, try to decrease using a regular a regular paddle brush and invest either in a wide tooth comb or a wet brush to decrease the amount of breakage and flyaways that you may have. Um, last product guys are my Sephora hair ties. Now, as you can see, I've, I've already taken some out and used them over the year. I think these are a great investment. They are the type of hair ties where you don't get um, kinks in your hair. And, you know, you can flat iron your hair, you can style your hair, and if you have to throw it up in a quick ponytail to wash your face or whatever, these guys do not create kinks in your hair, which is amazing. Um, I think for a pack of two, four, six, for a pack of six, I think they're like six or seven dollars. Um, maybe I'm, maybe they're more don't quote me on that they might be more depending on where you're from i think in the states they're under they're under eight bucks but in canada they might be 11 or 12 dollars i'm not 100 percent sure i bought these so long ago but these are my favorite for the year i have started to um use these instead of regular hair ties especially when i want to just do a quick uh ponytail to either wash my face or put makeup on or whatever and there's no kinks so i love that Guys, best of beauty for hair. That is all I have for you guys for this time. Um, I hope you guys enjoy. If you have any comments or questions about the products, leave them down below. I'll be happy to answer them for you. And until next time, thank you all for watching. Have a great new year, and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye, everybody. Mwah.